my name is Carrie Denigan. I'm a T34 wheelchair racer and Paralympian, and I mainly do the 100 metres to the 800 metres. So for me, I pretty much just watched the Paralympic Games, um, specifically London, London 2012. And at the time I was 11 and I'd never really seen people with disabilities do elite sports. So that just really inspired me, especially because when I was, um, you know, at primary school, I wasn't doing sport with the rest of my friends and things like that because of health and safety reasons. And you know they didn't know how to accommodate me. So when I saw people with disabilities actually doing sport at a high level, representing their country, you know, that really inspired me. And then my parents and I did a bit of research. We found out that there was an athletics um, club called Coventry Godiva Harriers, literally five minutes away from where I lived. And we also found out that they did wheelchair racing there. And that was a sport that really caught my attention. And that's how I started, really. I think with wheelchair racing, it is a very technical sport. And with my disability, cerebral palsy, it kind of affects your um, kind of like your ability to learn new movements and your coordination. So it took me a while to get used to how to actually like push and learn a lot more about the technique. And, you know, we have to use special gloves when we push as well. So there was a lot to get my head around. Um, so now I've been doing the sport for almost nine years. So it has been a process of getting over that, learning the technique, and also just physically, the wheelchair racing position isn't the most comfortable because we're kneeling. And with my disability as well, I can kind of feel that, you know, I've, I've my, my legs are quite stiff and things like that. So also getting used to sitting in a certain way was probably a, another physical challenge. I think I had to build up that confidence and just to be around other people with disabilities I think that helped to build up the confidence and just to feel a part of something you know to be a part of the Paralympic movement and I think I did become more comfortable with myself as well I built up a lot of self-confidence and self-esteem um, just throughout like everything in my life and that was through sport and sport definitely gave me that kind of confidence. Sometimes finance can be a bit of a barrier in para sport, you know, because equipment is really expensive. Thankfully, there are charities that do support people with disabilities. But I think, you know, that the support that people get needs to increase, especially in that sense, because, you know, money shouldn't be a barrier that shouldn't stop someone from doing sport. So I think more needs to be done in that respect. Also, when it comes to things like coverage, for example, on TV, I think para sport needs to be included a bit more in that coverage that you see it shouldn't just be the Paralympic Games when you see disabled athletes I think we should be able to see the sports more and that also will inspire people and bring more people into the sport as well I think it is a really good thing it's definitely needed we need more platforms that will celebrate disabled athletes and just to remind people that you know athletes with disabilities Paralympians are just like everybody else and as I was talking about visibility as well just having platforms where you see more athletes with disabilities that will also encourage others to think wow okay now that I see it you know I can do it as well and that is obviously like a really important thing and you know the way that media is playing such a big role in young people's lives as well it's a way to connect disabled people young disabled people you know to the sporting world I think patience is key things don't happen straight away so I always say that and also just be open to try loads of different sports as well. So if you're looking at a platform and you find out about lots of different sports, go on and have a go and just try lots of things and find what works for you. And yeah, there's no rush, no pressure, just enjoy what you're doing and then you'll achieve your goals. I hope that the future of sport will be more inclusive and be more diverse, that will celebrate all sorts of different sports and lots of different people. And I just hope that para sport will be recognised as elite sport um, in the same way that Olympic sport is.